Naibo one. Lesson 35 Childhood. May lesson Niki the Apibalani Lama Kale again. Practice question one. When I was a tiny tot, man chuti kale. Tiny tot means when I was like a little baby. Okay. When and where were you born? Kavad the Kohedi Padune. So I was born in 1986 at the Shrijavadan Hospital in Sri Lanka. Did you have a happy childhood? What was the best thing about your childhood? Yes, I did have a very happy childhood. And I think the best thing about my childhood was I was brought up very freely. Right? Uh, my mother was not very strict, but my dad was. But we had the freedom to choose and we grew up in a very calm and quiet environment. What do you think about the following quotes? It's the little moments in childhood that make the biggest memories. Right? Podi podi deva thamai lama inge mata ke luku mata ka satahan hai tiyada tiyane. Podi podi deva la pikarana maange ke hita nama. Samaharak vera chuti chuti hondo deva la venda pulang api samaharak vera avata chutta benala neta ekhan deva samaharak vita egalo ke hita ta thadimma khaavedi la mata ke akhya tiyada tiyane pulang. So I think yes it is true. A happy childhood is perhaps the most fortunate gift in life and I do strongly agree with it. So if you give your children not money but love, affection, care, attention, right, then they grow up uh, to be very uh, touchy or kind-hearted people who are able to understand you. And I feel children like that are more settled in their mind. Because when I teach a lot of students, I see that if they have a troubled childhood, when they grow up, they are still troubled in their mind. They're anxious, they're depressed, they're not settled, they're not calm. Some of them even want to take revenge from the society. So most killers, most rapists, right, are people who have had a very bad childhood most of the time. They have been troubled and they have a bad memory of their childhood. So again, I do agree with it. It is the most fortunate gift in life and I'm happy that I have had a very nice childhood. Right? Who took care of you when you were little? A parent, a grandparent, a nanny, a daycare center. Now I feel very guilty about this because in my mind, I know that I don't take care of my kids most of the time. So when I was little, my mother took care of me. She sacrificed her job. She was at home 24 seven and uh, she looked after us. She took us for classes. She was there for us whenever we needed her. So uh, until her last breath, it was always her kids that uh, were around her. And you know, she used to give us a call every day. And uh, after she passed away, you know, I feel that my Mobile is quite silent because she used to give me a call um, probably every day at, you know, about five, six calls. So uh, my mom brought me up and she was at home and my dad was obviously the breadwinner. Where did you grow up? How did that affect your childhood? So I grew up in a very nice neighborhood in Nugegoda. And um, as you see now, it's very commercialized. Back then, it wasn't commercialized. We had a lot of neighbors. I had the sisters, like a, a place where the nuns live. And on this side, of course, we had the school, the St. Joseph's Girls School. And uh, we had a lot of neighbors, little shops. We had the supermarket. We had Auntie Ranjani, who was my music teacher. And everything was very close by, and the neighborhood was nice. And how that affected me was that because we grew up in a nice neighborhood, we also learned to respect neighbors. And um, my mom made sure that those values were instilled to respect neighbors, to be courteous, not to trouble them. And obviously, um, we were soft-spoken then because my mom said, oh, don't make noise because you shouldn't trouble your neighbors. So we were brought up really well and we didn't see any things that we were not supposed to see when we were young. 
Did you have any nicknames? Not really. So um, they just used to call us um, London Gedera because my parents had come from London, okay, and um, my dad was really fan. They used to think that, you know, that was a foreigner, but uh, that's how they called us. But mum was named as Sumi, and obviously my sister was um, Sumu, and I was Sun. So those were our nicknames, but not not anything in particular other than that. What were your favorite cartoons and TV shows? So at that time when I was a kid, we had Little Miss Pepper Pot, which I was really fond of because um, she was a lady and she sometimes became really small and I loved watching that TV program or that cartoon. I mean, cartoons at that time, I feel were less violent than what we watch today. Uh, for some reason, I don't think the cartoons that appear on television are that great. I also remember watching Pisa Pusa, which was another um, nice cartoon. Um, I really haven't watched any specific TV shows back then when I was a kid. What did you want to dress um, as when you were a child? So, um, until I grew up quite a lot, I used to wear dresses, but we also wore jeans and a t-shirt and, uh, but as a kid, dresses, jeans and a t-shirt, maybe shorts and a t-shirt. Did you have a pet? Yes, I had a dog, Susu. I had a cat named Cindy. And then later on when I grew up a bit, I also had another dog named Pluto. And um, that's it. We haven't had any animals apart from that. Can you recall something embarrassing that happened to you as a child? Um, nothing that I recall of, but um, no, not really. Nothing comes into my mind. So, well, not a remember of anything um, embarrassing. Did you get into trouble often? Sorry, did you get in trouble often? No, really, I wasn't such a bad naughty girl, so I didn't get in trouble often. What kind of mischief did you get up to? I don't think it was really any mischief because it was not so naughty when I was small. What shows did you have to do? Well, I had to fold my clothes. I had to make sure that my table was clean. I had to make sure that we helped mum um, when she was cooking, you know, just to wash the plates and maybe keep the plates on the table. Were you conscious about getting your chores done? Um, yes, I was because mum had really, you know, allocated that Aki used to do this and I had to do this. So, yes. Or did your parents have to nag you? No, they didn't have to nag us. So, Ami used to say, you have to help Ami, then only you get good things in life. So, when we were little, you know, we really wanted to help Ami. So, Aki did her part and I used to do my part. Did you get pocket money when you were a kid? No, we didn't get any pocket money when we were a kid. But if we were to go and buy clothes for like Aurudu or Christmas, then Ami used to say, okay, Here's the money and you'd have to buy within that range. So you can't exceed your budget. So we didn't get anything called pocket money like for a month or every day, no. Right. Did you enjoy reading as a child? Very much. I enjoyed it a lot. I used to read a lot of different books. Um, it was about nature, any Blyton books, uh, Nancy Drew, Famous Five, lots of books. Did you often play outside or did you prefer to stay inside? So we were not allowed to play outside a lot because Ami always made sure that we were inside. So I would say that we often used to play inside. Children can be scared of many things real or imagined. Were you frightened of anything as a child? I am still frightened of cockroaches and geckos. I don't like them and also spiders. Um, apart, those are real things. Um, imagine things I, I mean, used to say boogeyman was there so you need to go to bed soon or wee willy winky would come and catch you. So those were imagined characters and yes, I was scared of those two characters. What do you miss about being a child? 
not taking responsibility. So when we were kids or when I was a child, there was nothing in my mind about responsibility or to earn or to feed my kids. It was just living that moment and that's what I miss. What about your childhood? Do you wish you could change? I don't think I want to change anything. It was perfect and I wish I could go back to my childhood. Practice question two. More about little me. How old were you when you learned to ride a bicycle? I was probably about say seven, eight years old. Did you have your own bicycle? Yes, I did. Do you remember who taught you to ride the bicycle? Yes, my father taught me to ride the bicycle. Did you have a bad bicycle accident? No, I, I not that I remember. I've never had a bicycle accident. Um, but now I don't think I really want to ride the bicycle. And I wasn't a real fan of it when I was a child either. Right. So these are like typically part one questions for your IELTS exam. What was your favorite sport or game? Why? Um, I used to like to play hide and seek. It was a game. I wasn't very sporty and I didn't like sports that much. Who did you play it with? My sister or my cousins when they came over. Who gave it to you? I mean, not really. No one taught me. I mean, it was just probably my sister taught me. When did you like to play it? When we were free and my cousins came over or when my sister and myself, when we were bored. What was your favorite toy when you were a child? Sarah, I remember. So she was a very big doll and Sarah could walk and talk. Who gave you this toy? Ammi gave it. And did it have a name? Sarah was the name of the doll. Do you still have it? No, unfortunately we had to, I mean we gave the doll away when we kind of grew up. So mom gave it to someone. I can't remember who, but definitely it's not with us anymore. Were you a good student? Yes. I imagine I was a good student. Did you enjoy going to school? Very much. Uh, myself and my friends, till the last day of all of us, we went. Till the last day of all of us, when there were about only four or five students in the class, we still went. So we enjoyed going to school. Did you get good grades? I wouldn't say I was a high flyer getting, you know, 98, 9900, but yes, I did get good grades, which was enough for me to get through the exams. Did you enjoy doing your homework? So I can't say that I really disliked it or liked it. Sometimes actually we were put out, not as a child, but when I was probably grade 10, 11, because we had so much of homework sometimes. My friends and I we were actually outside the class because we were punished because we didn't really do the homework. So I kind of liked doing homework if I you know, really understood what I had to do. So if I didn't, then probably I would not want to do it then. What did you like and didn't like about school? Um, what I liked about school was I had a good set of friends. And there was lots of things for us to do. What I didn't like about it was it was very competitive and we had a lot of work to do. So that wasn't really my type. Who was your favorite teacher? Miss Sudharma Kakulavala. Um, I also told you, I think, Miss Ira, but Miss Sudharma Kakulavala was a great teacher and um, she's one of those inspiring teachers. I still keep in touch with her. She had lovely teaching methods. Um, she spoke English really well. Um, she could act, uh, so her, she could do a lot of drama. And I don't know, I really thought she could teach English well, so I really liked her. What was your favorite subject? Um, English when I was a child, and then later on it was biology, chemistry. I never liked physics, but yeah. Um, why I liked it is because I know English, I liked it, it was easy, I understood it. Chemistry and biology, they were interesting, new subjects for me and I felt there was a lot to learn. 
what kind of food did you like? Um, I like to eat actually fruits and veggie. So did you, I have to say we don't need used to. Did you eat anything or were you a picky eater? I would say when I was a kid, I ate anything. But um, there was one, th one thing I was picky about was not eating um, green leaves. But apart from that, I was fine. What foods did you dislike to eat? Haha, <laughs> the green leaves was the only one that I remember I disliked eating. Practice question three. Me and my people. Who was your favorite family member when you were younger? It was my father. Did you go on trips with your parents? Yes, we've been on quite a lot of trips together. What did you like doing with your parents going on trips, having dinner, some reading time where mom and dad used to read to us? Who besides your parents had the biggest impact on your childhood? Um, I think it was my sister and my school teachers. Were your parents overprotective? Um, I think my mum was overprotective. My father, on the other hand, gave us freedom. And he, because he didn't have sons, he said, you, both of you need to be like sons. And I think as we've grown up, uh, we're quite like boys here. So um, we're quite independent. and We're sometimes very aggressive. So um, I think my mother was overprotective. My father, on the other hand, was a bit more better. He gave us a bit of more freedom. At what age could you go to places by yourself? Oh, I haven't been by myself until I was probably about 20, 21. Did your parents always tell you what to do? Not really. They didn't always tell me what to do, but they would just kind of tell me this was better. They would give their opinion, but not really tell me this is what I had to do. Were you allowed to play outside for a long time? That I would say no, because my mom was overprotective and she would not let us play outside. How are you similar to your parents? How are you different appearance and character? I think everyone who knows me, they would say that I look like my father in terms of appearance. In terms of character, I'm not sure how someone would categorize me, but um, I am similar to the looks of my dad. I'm similar in certain ways, like I'm methodical. Um, I listen to other people. What else are the similarities? I'm kind-hearted. Um, I respect others. I respect people. Um, but what I think I'm different about is my mom and dad, they're probably quiet. I'm a bit loud. Um, even my talking tone, I think, is a bit louder than my parents. And my mom and dad would not respond even if, you know, they would be not treated fairly. If they were ill-treated, they would still keep quiet and say, no, no, we have to be patient. Myself, on the other hand, I'm different. I would speak that out and I would say, no, what you're doing is wrong and you should not do it. So I would get into arguments more than my parents. Um, so in that sense, I think I'm different. What is one of the best lessons your mother ever taught you as a kid? Um, I think it's the same question, so we really don't need this one. Okay, so it's the same one. So the best lesson that my mother taught me was to be honest. Okay. Um, some people say, um, but I believe honesty is the best jewel that I've got. She taught me never to... Um, if you're going from A to B, always be honest about where you're going so that it doesn't create any kind of conflict between you and your husband when you grow up. So I think I am happy as to how she has brought me up. And that advice has taken me a long way. So I'm happy about it. What kind of personality did you have as a child? I think I was quite shy. I was more like an introvert. Were you good at making friends? Not really. 
How did you make friends? Actually, my friends used to come and talk to me. So, Irasha and Chaturani, they spoke and we're still friends. And I'm happy that they spoke to me because they are friends for a lifetime. Did you have a lot of friends? Yes, I mean, in school, I had a lot of friends later on because then I started, you know, changing my personality. Uh, but, you know, still close friends, still my same old eight friends. What did you enjoy doing with your friends? Going out, sightseeing, watching movies, dancing, screaming at home and singing in the bathroom, um, sleepovers. We enjoyed those kind of activities together. Who was your best friend? Um, Irasha was my best friend. She still is. How did you meet this friend? I met her at um, Devi Balika Vidyale when I swapped my schools and I went to Devi in grade 6. What did you do together? I mean, we've done a lot. We've played together. We fought together. We've disagreed about certain things. We watched movies together. We've hung, we've hung out. We've had sleepovers. Do you still do things with this childhood friend? Yes, but we still do. We still do meet up. We still do go out for movies. But now she's in Japan. So um, I haven't met her for the past few months, but we still do um, WhatsApp. What other things can you recall about your best friend? Um, she's a loving, kind-hearted, understanding person. She watches out for you no matter what. So even I've taken wrong decisions, she still stood up by my by me and she's been like, no, you're still my friend. No matter what it is, I'll tell you what is right and wrong. So, you know, she's, she's a great friend. Apart from her, you know, all my other friends like Chaturani, Rasangi, Kana, Disha, Kanchi, Udeshni, Thilini, Rashanti. So they're still out there for me. I would say it's like a ring of best friends. Right. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have one sister. Yes, I do get along well with her. So watch the following movie, right? I'm not going to play it for you because you have the link here. You have the link below the video. Please click on it, watch it and explain the message that it carries. All right. Practice question for babies. Do you like to watch movies about babies? Yes, because I think they're quite cute and I like to watch their behavior. What kinds of things do babies probably think about? Hmm, probably about how we feel. What are we thinking? They're probably thinking about what are they going to eat? Uh, maybe about a toy, maybe about a color, right? Do you like spending time with babies? Yes, I do. I love babies. When they're yours, it can be a bit stressful. But overall, I do love babies. Many people wait until they are in their 30s to start having babies. What do you think is the best age? I don't think there's a best age. When you're ready, that's when you're ready. When you feel that you and your partner actually want to commit and you know spend time and you're financially able when the time is right for you according to your standards that's the time to have a baby so i don't think the age is a parameter to have a baby on the same way i don't think you should have babies when you're around 14 15 16 because you might not be ready mentally to look after another person because you yourself is a kid what do you want to provide your children that you didn't have when you were growing up? Um, I don't know. Maybe I've had like you know I've had a good place to live. I've had good schooling. I would say I would want to provide them the same thing. Maybe provide them with a bit of more education and also, oh, I remember one thing: better understanding about the society. So my parents brought us up. And at that time, I think, you know, we didn't go out. We didn't know much about the society. But I want my children to go out into the society 
and to say, you know, if someone's taking drugs, okay, that's you, me, no, I don't want it. Smoking, yeah, that's you, you can smoke it, me, no. So I want them to realize that they have a mind and that they could stand up for their own opinion or to what they think is right. Practice question five. Up to no good. What was the most mischievous thing you did as a child? Now I remember I wasn't allowed to eat pineapple and I used to always kind of go to the fridge and if there was pineapple I would go behind, take a piece and then quickly eat it. So that was really mischievous because I would then fall ill because I used to have the wheeze. So I still remember that was something naughty. Do you remember any pranks you played on your siblings? No, not really. I haven't played any pranks on them. Did you ever get caught for a prank or mischievous you pulled as a child? Of course, when I ate pineapple, I always got caught. Do you believe that children should be allowed to be mischievous or should they always be taught to be well behaved? No, I think children are children. They should be allowed to be a bit mischievous because when they grow up, they'll anyway come out of it. You should teach them what is right and wrong, but not really control them always. But if they're out of the house, yes, then you tell them, okay, you've got to behave yourself well. But if they're in the house, I don't see why they could not be a bit mischievous. And the last one. If you were their parent, how would you handle this situation? Uh-huh, this one. I usually don't keep my phone out, so I would tell him, no, no, that's not something you should do. Again, this one, tell him that it's not a nice gesture. Um, again, in all of these situations, I think telling them what is right and wrong is good. So you tell them that this is not something good to do, and you don't hit them, you don't shout at them, but you... Um, try to get them to think of something else so that they kind of deviate from that. So these two. He's big enough, I think, and for him, you clearly need to say, no, that's not something you should do. All right. So I think this was quite an interesting lesson. It takes you back many years, right, about your friends, about your parents. You think, go back on the lesson next Tamangi ati te te tamangu geni ano ya alu ekka gatte karupu kalle de maupio ekki na kalle koi vidir da pi ende koi vidir da pi hitu e kie ne okkomatika me lesson ne king cover venama. So that brings us to the end of this lesson, childhood. Mm -hmm.